Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wild Crundor, and I wanted to talk today. I wanted to have a more, this is a more just like a group oriented chat. This is a community chat. I don't know, it's kind of like a mix between a world of Crundor and a vlog. So, uh, enjoy. Uh, but, it's about insomnia. And this past week, I have had terrible insomnia. And I just wanted to talk about it. And maybe we can share that experience. Maybe we can just just talk about some things. And what has led me to this point is uh, I was just trying to sleep, and I couldn't sleep. So I was just like, you know what, screw it. So, uh, first off, let's. my normal sleep schedule is like the worst. So when you work on the internet and you don't have to go places, that doesn't help you because... Uh, my normal sleep schedule is I would wake up around, uh, between 2 and 4 in the afternoon and go to bed at, like, between 5 and 7 a.m. So, already, that's a pretty bad sleep schedule. And, I mean, normal pe a lot of people do that, like, when they're out of school or when they don't have a job or whatever. And I'm sure a lot of you have done it, because it's, I think, the gaming community would... It's like, it's like that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this past week, we, it was Sunday, and I was like, okay, I go to bed at 7, I'd be up at 1, because it was my dad's birthday. I'm like, alright, we'll wake up at 1. So I get up at 1, I only got 5 hours sleep. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to get back on a normal sleep schedule, because it's daylight savings time. Well, uh, turns out, that's not a good idea, because your body clock is going to be like, what are you doing? So, uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to bed at 2.30, because it'll be the equivalent of 3.30, right? So that's almost, like, between 6 and 7 a.m. So, I try going to bed at 2.30, and I sleep for two hours, maybe two and a half hours, and then I wake up and I can't fall back asleep. And I'm like, okay, the last time I had two hours of sleep, the next day, I fell asleep at, like, one in the morning or something. And I got eight hours of sleep, woke up at nine. So I was like, you know what? It's a great plan. I'm just going to stay up all day, and I'll just crash at, like, midnight or whatever. All right? That's a great plan. Because it's worked before. So, uh, tried doing that, except for the part when at one in the afternoon, I fell asleep. I was just like, oh, I feel, I don't feel that great. I'm just going to lay down just a little bit. Laying down a little bit turned into a three and a half hour nap. Worst idea of the week. Worst idea of the week by far. <laughs> so I wake up. I'm just like, okay, well, I got some sleep, so that makes me feel a little better. But now that's going to mess up me falling asleep at night, which it did. So I hit like midnight and I was like, I'm going to try falling asleep. Fell asleep for like half an hour. And then I woke up and was like, no, I'm not that tired. But then, but then I tried to like fall asleep some more. And I was just like, all right, just fall asleep. And then you just lay there. Then I'm like, should I go on the computer? Well, you're not supposed to go on the computer because it makes you get awake, but I don't know if I should be awake. Maybe I should go. And then <laughs> that ended up just me staying up to like nine in the morning. And then I was like, you know what? I should probably go see like the doctor and be like, hey, can you like help me not have this awful schedule? So I make a doctor appointment to see my doctor for insomnia at like 2 in the afternoon. Then I fall asleep from 9 till 3. So then I wake up and I'm like, oh, well, I slept for 6 hours. I didn't feel that great of a sleep, but I slept for 6 hours. So then, uh, doctors are saying whatever. <laughs> uh, the next day arrives, and I'm like, alright, so... It's gonna just like, you know, just like power through this day. I'll go to bed at my normal time, right? Just go to bed at my normal time. Well, normal time hits, and I'm like not falling asleep. And I'm like, uh oh, did I like mess up? Did I mess up the body clock? So, uh, my mom was like, hey, we got some melatonin, which is like the natural drug that helps you fall asleep. And I was reading on the internet, they were like, well, if you take, like, a milligram of melatonin, it'll help you fall asleep if you're having problems for, like, jet lag or anything like that. But we had five milligrams, which they were like, that's kind of strong, but that's, like, the highest you should go. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm so tired at this point. I'll try it. Tried it, 
And oh my god. So, I took it at like 7.30 in the morning because I still couldn't fall asleep. I was just like, help me fall asleep, melatonin. And then, uh, that was... I couldn't fall asleep for another two hours. And when I did, that was the craziest sleep I've ever had. I slept for like an hour, had extremely vivid dreams, like super vivid dreams, and then woke up for like half an hour, fell back asleep for like another hour and a half, more vivid dreams, woke up, because like they're working on construction next door for whatever reason, they never, they're like quiet all the time, and then I wake up again and go back to sleep for like another hour or two hours or something, and I have more vivid dreams, so I had like four or five hours of like deep sleep that night, and I was just like, oh, so I wake up at like five in the afternoon that day, and I'm just like, oh my god, I should not have taken that melatonin, because now I feel extremely groggy and like tired, and even though I just had like deep sleep, it's almost like when you wake up in the morning when you're dreaming and you're just still really tired, that's what it felt like, except even worse, and so, uh, I was like, okay, well, what if I just, uh, try going to bed, since I'm tired, but I just laid there more, and then I started feeling sick, and then I was just like, ugh, so then I just got really achy and tired, and laid there all night, until 8 in the morning, and then at 8 in the morning, I fell asleep, till like 2 in the afternoon, so I was like, oh great, now I'm back to normal, I just got 6 more hours of sleep. Well, uh, then we reach today, where, uh, after waking up at 2 in the afternoon, I, you know, tried to live my normal day, like I normally would, like I would a week ago, and then I'm like, okay, so now I should be able to go to bed at like uh, 5 in the morning or whatever. Tried that? Nope. So, now I'm here. Now I'm here. That was a really long story, so... Uh, there was a lot of just, like, times, like, this is the time I did this, and this is the time I did that. But anyway, now I called the doctor, and I'm just like, you got anything today? And they're just like, yeah, one o'clock. And I'm like, sign me up, because I need, like, medical help. So, uh, that's my story. I don't know about your story. If anybody here has insomnia, you can leave me your insomnia stories. But I just wanted to share that because I'm going through insomnia right now. And I guess I just had, maybe I had to vent about it. Because it's like it's all built up inside me. And I'm like, I don't want you insomnia. I just want normal people sleep time. I just want to go to bed at like 1. Like, that'd be great. Just go to bed at 1. So, leave your tips or help things, comments below. I've tried a lot of things. I've tried, like, foods. I've tried, you know, obviously melatonin. I've, I might try melatonin again, but definitely not five milligrams. Probably, like, one or, like, half. Uh, I don't know. Just leave your stories, leave your comments, leave your stuff, because it'll make me feel good. And, yeah. Okay? Okay. That's also why... Not a lot of videos have been coming out because I like wake up and I'm just like, oh God. Ah. So I need to get back to normal. And that's what I plan on doing. Plan on doing. Okay? Okay. See ya.